So, hello everyone and we are back again with a new question, again from 2022 JAM Mathematics, okay, so and again from the subject Ordinary Differential Equation, okay, so let's start with the question says, okay, so the question says, we are given with a differential equation that is x square plus y square dx minus 4xy dy equals to 0 and we are given with a differentiable function that is phi from the upper interval 1 minus c to 1 plus c to 0 to infinity and phi at 1 is equals to 1 is given so we have to choose the true options from the given options okay we are given with four options that is 3 phi x square plus x square whole square equals to 4x or 3 phi x square minus x square whole square equals to 4x and etc okay so we have to choose the true one okay so let's start with the question uh, with the with the, we are given uh, with a differential equation that is nothing but x square plus y square dx minus 4xy dy equals to 0 okay so as you guys can see from the differential equation that it is a homogeneous differential equation and we know how to find the solution of a homogeneous differential equation okay so what we do in finding the solution of a homogeneous differential equation we just put that uh, y equals to vx to change the variables and to convert them into the form where we can separate the variables okay and then we'll be separating the variables and then solving the differential equation okay so just rearranging the terms we'll be getting dy by dx equals to x square plus y square over 4xy okay so what we do in homogeneous differential equation which is nothing but a homogeneous differential equation homogeneous differential equation okay so what we do we just put y equals to vx and finding out the value of dy by dx in terms of dv by dx which is nothing but v plus x dv by dx okay so we'll be just putting the value of dy by dx and y in the given equation that is let's just say that it is equation one so in that case our equation will be v plus x dv by dx equals to x square plus v square x square over 4x into vx okay so i'll be just common x square i'll be just taking out that will be nothing but 1 plus x square 1 plus v square sorry 1 plus v square over 4x square v okay so just cancelling the x square we will be getting v plus x dv by dx this is equals to 1 plus v square over 4v okay again we are just rearranging the terms only we are just doing the calculations nothing else dv by dx equals to 1 plus v square over 4v minus v and just subtracting these we'll be getting 1 minus 3v square over 4v okay now we are at the stage where we can separate the variables that is v and x so we'll just applying the method of separation of variables by separation of variables separation of variables will be getting 3v sorry dv 4v over 1 minus 3v square is equals to dx by x okay so just integrating this we will be getting uh, we just uh, like uh, integration of this will be like uh, the derivative if the derivative of the denominator will be in the numerator we'll just put the logarithm isn't it so we'll just uh, like just doing calculations that is nothing but minus 4 by 6 6 v dv i'm just arranging the derivative of this here in the numerator nothing else and this is nothing but 1 minus 3 v square integration and integration dx over x 
Okay, so the derivative of this is this one. So we just put the logarithm function that is ln 1 minus 3v square equals to ln x plus ln c, some constant. Okay, so this is nothing but ln 1 minus 3v square raised to the power minus 2 by 3 equals to ln cx okay just cancelling out the logarithm function and we'll be getting 1 minus 3v square raised to the power minus 2 by 3 equals to cx okay now we have uh, y equals to vx we'll be just converting the v into y terms so v is nothing but y by x so just putting in the last equation we'll be getting 1 minus 3 y square by x square raised to the power minus 2 by 3 equals to cx okay now we are given as pi of 1 as 1 and we know that pi of x is equals to y so y it implies y at 1 is 1 applying this condition into this equation we will be getting 1 minus 3 raised to the power minus 2 by 3 equals to c which further implies c is nothing but minus 2 raised to the power minus 2 by 3 is nothing but minus 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power minus 1 by 3. So, this is nothing but 1 over 4 raised to the power 1 by 3. So, we have the constant value as 4, 1 over 4 raised to the power 1 by 3. Just putting the constant value in this equation, we will be getting x square minus 3y square over x square raised to the power minus 2 by 3 equals to c c value is 1 over 4 raised to the power 1 by 3 into x okay so we'll just finding out the y as a solution now huh? so we'll just find out the value of y in terms of x so this will be nothing but x square minus 3 y square over x square equals to x over 4 raised to the power 1 by 3 raised to the power minus 3 by 2 okay so this will be nothing but 2 and this will be x raised to the power minus 3 by 2 okay now just calculating these terms this x square will go in the right side and we will be getting this as x square this is nothing but 2 root x x square minus 3 y square okay so we have we have this equation now so we'll be getting this okay so now we are given with the options like as these forms we'll be just verifying that options okay so we are given with like this 3 y square minus x square this 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 we'll just satisfy our equation with these options okay so now we'll be just squaring it squaring it we'll be getting x square minus 3y square square equals to 4x okay in square we can you know change the minus 1 coefficient or minus sign whatever you can say 3y square minus x square square equals to 4x so this is nothing but minus 1 square will be plus 1 so it will be cancelling out we are getting this okay so this is nothing but the option b okay because y is our 5x so it is nothing but 5x square minus x square whole square equals to 4x so option b is correct option b is the correct okay so we have this now so option b is the correct answer okay so first you know this was not that much lengthy question like now um, we are proving like it in a proper method but as you can see that this is a homogeneous differential equation you just put the method and just to calculate in between the calculation when you're finding out the value of the coefficient that is c you will get this like you can see this is 4 5 x 4 5 x this is 4 x 4 x so you can you know uh, 
depict that that 4x will be there and then you can see this left hand side in that options are alternative so this will be the option you can see from the calculation itself so this was the question and the option b is the correct answer thank you